47 year old male with diagnosis of severe aortic stenosis for aortic valve replacement on TEE severe aortic insufficiency was noted as well patient had features of combined aortic stenosis and aortic insufficiency transgastric view of the LV note dilated LV cavity thickened wall mass and decreased contractility LV and diastolic diameter was 6.56 centimeters and wall thickness was 1.25 centimeters transgastric view of the RV with overall normal contractility deep transgastric view with colorful Doppler showing a motionless aortic valve and severe aortic insufficiency deep transgastric on 3D color showing severe aortic insufficiency and a motionless aortic valve increasing transparency in the 2D elements note uh, again severe aortic insufficiency and then deep transgastric view without 2D images noting just a color flow Doppler pattern regurge 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 3D view from the left ventricle note large echo dropout in the aortic valve area situated at 12 o'clock and normal mitral valve uh, function this is through the LV 3D view of the aortic valve from the left ventricle without and then with colorful Doppler without note a motionless valve in the middle and then color flow Doppler shows blue as an inflow from the left atrium to the left ventricle and then mosaic as the AI comes into picture. 3D view of the aortic valve and normal mitral valve from the left atrium. At 11 o'clock note the aortic valve and then a normal mitral valve. 3D view of the aortic valve from ascending aorta. The ascending aorta has taken out, cut out of the 3D image and color flow Doppler shows the ejection and uh, motionless aortic valve analysis of the left ventricle five chamber view noting dilated LV and L left atrium and decreased contractility color for the Doppler in the LVOT of uh, aortic insufficiency and then uh, EF of around 37% with a normal stroke volume due to uh, cavity dilation stroke volume around 70 millimeters milliliters aortic valve views and analysis, short axis view of the aortic valve, highly calcified, possibly bicuspid, normal tricuspid valve with a normal color flow pattern. Long axis view of the aortic valve, normal ascending aorta, LVOT diameter 2.46 centimeters, and color flow Doppler showing severe aortic stenosis and aortic insufficiency, massive aortic insufficiency. Doppler flow, continuous Doppler flow, showing the deceleration slope, suggestive of a severe aortic insufficiency, and then the pressure grading through the aortic valve of 72 millimeters of mercury. Calculation of the aortic valve error by continuity equation, showing 1.07 centimeters square. Doppler of the LVOT, and a calculation of 0.99 centimeters square of the aortic valve. On cardiopulmonary bypass, the aorta was open and bicuspid aortic valve was seen. Note fuse left coronary cusp and right coronary cusp and uh, yellow box. Uh, restricted closing of the valve causing also severe aortic insufficiency. A 23 millimeter by prosthetic bovine pericardial aortic valve was implanted without any issues. Then the aorta closed and patient weaned from cardiopulmonary bypass. Sure axis view of the by prosthetic valve and then color flow Doppler of the bioprosthetic valve. Note color flow Doppler in the right coronary and left coronary. No evidence of abnormal leaks or normal jets. Zoom view of the aortic valve in short axis. 3D view of the aortic valve in short axis. And long axis view of the aortic valve. Deep transgastric view color flow Doppler without any evidence of any flow disturbances or abnormalities and then pressure gradient through the LV and aortic valve showing a peak gradient of 11 millimeters of mercury. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments please post them or email me. Thank you.